Uh, hi, you guys. This is uh, Mrs. Houts, and I finished grading. This is about the recipe project. Uh, some of you need some help. I graded one hour of day two, the task two, of when you're supposed to scale it up to 30 servings and show the stoichiometry. And some of you did great, and some of you did not. So if you got an eight out of eight, you obviously understood the assignment. If you got zero out of eight, you didn't. And I've only graded period four, so I'm trying to catch everybody else before they do it wrong, and I have to grade them all twice. Okay, so here's what you got to do, okay? Um, this is day two of this recipe project. You have got to use stoichiometry to figure out how much of each ingredient you need to have to serve 30 people. Okay, some of your recipes were for, say, 15 people, and then maybe you wrote, I just times everything by two, and yeah, that's true, but we need you to show us the stoichiometry. Okay, so here's an example. All right, here's oatmeal. I looked at the label this morning. I did not have oatmeal for breakfast because personally I detest oatmeal. Okay, but here's the recipe for two servings. A cup of oats, one and three-fourths cup milk, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar, and a fourth of a cup of raisins. Okay, so that's my recipe for two servings. To turn that into a chemical reaction, I would write it like this. One O, that's for oats, that's a cup. 1.75 M is milk, that's cups. One eighth T, one eighth is 0.125. For me, it's easier to turn that into a decimal of salt. 0.25, that's a fourth of a teaspoon. Sugar uh, and point. Two five cups of raisins makes two servings. Okay, so for task two, you have got to do a little one step calculation for each ingredient separately. Okay, so for the oats, I would go like this for 30 servings, I need to do a one step conversion. This is analogous to the mole to mole conversions of a chemical reaction. All right, so I need one cup of oats for two servings. So for 30 servings, 30 times one is 30 divided by two, I need 15 cups. Okay, when you do this on your paper, these units need to cancel and you need to end up, you know, with a problem like that for each ingredient. Okay, so for the milk, I'll do one more for you. You know, you're trying to do this for 30 servings. So every single little problem should start with 30 servings. And then you make a conversion factor out of your coefficients. So 1.75 cups of milk gives me two servings. Okay, so 30 times 1.75, I'll do this on my calculator, divided by 2 equals 26.25 cups of milk and my servings are going to cancel. All right, that's the idea. Okay, so you need to fix your paper if you got a zero uh, and do it this way and just do that for every single ingredient. It's just a one-step conversion and again it's analogous to the mole-to-mole -mole, uh, conversions using the coefficients of your balanced reactions and if you're still confused um, come to office hours after school today. I'll open up the Google Meet. Today's Monday uh, or you know email me or something. Okay, all right, thanks.